All right, so back from vacation. You know, San Diego was a lot of fun. You know, went and checked out one of the, the Harley dealerships down in El Cajon. I believe it was called El Patron. You know, small dealership, still pretty cool, but didn't really take any pictures of the place because it was small. It wasn't some big grandiose place, and I figured, what the hell, we'll just get my stuff and get out. So back in town, I got my part in from Lone Wolf. And what we have here is a repla replacement uh, speed sensor. So it's right there. I'll zoom in on there. There's the part number. And that is for a 2000 Softail. Uh, obviously for mine, the Springer, but it's probably good for any of the 2000 Softails. Don't quote me on it, but in theory it should be. So we're going to come down. We're going to be replacing this guy right here. And that should be a 3 16 Allen bolt that runs up and behind the oil bag here. So to get to that, I'm going to be pulling this uh, little, little splash guard here. And if you can see, there's a bolt right down there. There's one on the other side too, which is a 7 16 So by pulling that, I should be able to rotate this splash guard to the top of the tire and gain access to the backside of what I'm assuming is the ECM. So I'm going to get to spin the spin those bolts out, roll that up, and we'll see what's behind there. And I will fill you guys in on what we see. And if I can, get the camera back in there so you can see what I'm seeing. So hold it. All right, so cover's off, but because I lowered the bike, I couldn't slide it up here, so I just had to roll it down there. So not a big deal. And in here, let's see if I can get this on camera here. Got a plug right there. That should be our speed sensor. And I got a bike coming up my driveway. Hold up. All right. So as I was saying, there's our speed sensor. So I got a snip, a zip tie there. I've got one on standby. And we'll just kind of fish this down and through and out this way. Fishing it back through could be interesting. So I've got to figure that one out. But the Allen head that holds this in is in fact a 3 16 So I'm gonna go ahead and snip that zip tie, get everything chased through, and figure out how I'm gonna bring it back out. I might just end up having to get some really thick trimmer line to try to pull it back through. We'll see what happens and how creative I have to be. So fill you in. Okay, so new one is routed and plugged in, but we got a really, small hole to be able to slide the plug through so i decided to scrap that idea got my snips and just cut the uh the plug off mind you you need to cut off the female end not the male end otherwise you're gonna have a bad day so rather than fight with that stupid hole on the back side here i just routed under the starter fed up through my rat's nest of wiring and poked it out through here Got it plugged in, it fixed, and then re-zip tied. So now, I'm gonna put the splash guard back up in with our 7 16 bolts. Gonna run our 3 16 Allen back in. Nothing is looking kinked. Get the seat back on, because I was curious, took that off, and I can't see anything down below, so that was a waste of time. And then get out for shakedown run and see if I've got a speedometer again and self-canceling blinkers, because you know, that would be nice. So I'm gonna button this up, shake down, and I will fill you guys in on the results, if that fixed my problem, or if I've got an electrical gremlin to figure out. So fingers crossed, it was just that. We'll find out. All right, so test ride down, done, and it's a partial win. So I've got a speedometer again. However, my phone's ringing. Hold up. All right, we're back again. Crisis averted. So I've got a speedometer again, which is great. However, once the RPMs start climbing to about 3,000 or 3,500, and I'm guessing here because I have no tack, but it drops out on me again. Uh, I've checked on my the codes, and as best I can tell, it's throwing one code, and I believe I either am losing or have lost, but most likely I'm losing my regulator. So we're gonna put the bike up on a lift, get it started, uh, put a voltmeter to the battery, 
and crank her up to 2,000, 3,000 RPMs in gear. It's sketchy, but that that's kind of my wheelhouse. The more sketch, the better. And see what our volts do. If uh, you know the voltmeter reads you know uh, 15 to 16 and up volts, then yeah, I've I've got a bad regulator. I'm gonna have to get that swapped out. If that reads its normal high 13s to low 14 or uh, high high 12s to low 13s, there we go. Then I'm back on the hunt. So I will run that test and let you guys know what comes of it and what my next step is before I sign out for the rest of this video. So be patient with me.